Hello and welcome again my good friends. It is me Reef and you guys are watching me and the cute girls from Panzer Models in which we uh Panzer Models models in which we uh, try to take, take some tanks and I'm being confused because there's too many cute girls and apparently we were going on a hot springs trip but that's been cancelled due to some tank not being able to fire in the right direction. Anyway Qui cancelled? That's not fair, ma chérie. Look, this wasn't up to me. I, I... Uh, yeah, I wanted to go on that trip. Sherman, I have a... Ladies? I have an idea. Everyone fall silent. Uh, you have an idea? Him, go ahead, she coughs. Well, um, what if all the clubs did something to raise money before this weekend? Hmm, that well... That just might work. I'd have to get the president's approval, but but yeah, this this could save the trip. I agree, this could. But what's the idea? What sort of thing could raise three thousand dollars in one week? Um, never thought that far ahead. But it doesn't have to be the one thing. Each club just needs to raise their part. Hmm. Let me think. I'll ask the president to let the student council do a donation drive. And school newspaper. Why don't you make her some special print run? Da, Pravda can do that. The newspaper club agrees before exiting. Oh, this is going well. Light music club, uh, you all can hold a concert. Oh, well, she's kind of cute too. Gosh darn it. Hi, hi, we'll make you proud, VP St. Pi. The light music club all echoes before leaving the room. Ooh, 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 what can the occult studies club do? Um. Do I don't know, just no spooky stuff this time, please. Alright, come on team, let's go get the ritual garb. The German tanks will shuffle out of the room. Wait, I just said, oh, someone go make sure they don't try and kill anything. Hey, you forgot the tankery team. I remembered to forget. No fair. We're helping too. Fine, fine, just go make yourselves useful. On it, she shouts as the tankery team all runs out of the room. Hmm, what do I do? Oh, Irvin, I'm sorry, I almost forgot you were here. Man, that fucking stings. That fucking stings. You're driving me to fucking alcohol, Type 3. Really you are. Well, thanks. Why don't you try to help some out some of the clubs this week? I'm sure they could use it. Yeah, sure, I'll see what I can do. By the way, in which club is IS2? Because I want to really avoid that one. A few hours later, oh, I should probably help out one of the clubs before I go home. Holy fucking shit, Owen. Um, you just spent the entire day not helping any of the goals. You are a piece of shit. And um, this probably means I'm a piece of shit because I'm playing Owen. This is quite terrible. I don't, I don't like the situation I'm in. T-34 is probably swamped with the newspaper, but God knows what Sherman has gotten up to. But Sherman's kind of crazy. I'm going to help T-34 because she has pink hair and pink hair fucking rocks. Who do I help first? Newspaper club. I guess I should see how things at the newspapers are coming along. I'm sure it can have gone too bad yet. I mean, at least I have T-34. She's usually pretty level-headed and angry at me. Oh, this is a nice looking area. In the school newspaper club room, immediately are hit by the droning sound of a printing presses chugging away. All throughout the room, tanks are running every which way. Near the window, T-34 is standing next to a taller girl who is pacing back and forth rapidly. Hmm. I do regret not having like a fancy webcam thing so you guys can actually see my facial expressions. But on the other hand, that would mean me actually cleaning up my room. My recording room. And actually looking presentable for that matter. And I am a bit shy. I am very camera shy, I'll admit, I will admit. It took me a while just to get used to my fucking voice. But, um, well, there we go, baby steps, eh? Comrade Commissar, the numbers are back for last month's circulation. Oh, my God. She's cute, too. Da, how do they look? ISU-152. T-34, unfortunately, they're down again. Biat, the Politburo will have your heads for this. Chuka. Well, how many? Give me the numbers. In total, we distributed three copies. <laughs> oh, 
That is worse than I fucking expected. That's including one for the teacher's loud and one for the waiting. <laughs> Comrade, pass me my tokarev. I'll save everyone this time. Suddenly another tank rushes into the room. He strains to speak but it's short on breath. Sacre blue, Pant. Vusto, Vusto, you all. Pant, ruined it. Ruined what, comrade? My, my story. Nobody ruined anything. We just did some fact checking. Fact checking? How is this fact checking? She slams a copy of the newspaper on the desk. I just, you, 152 picks it up and scans down the page quickly. I don't see any errors. Now the girl snatches the paper back quickly and points at the first headline. I'm a heroic defender of the motherland holds of entire German armored division with only bayonet and flag. And here, Zeit magazine poll, Putin voted best religious leader of the last 3000 years. <laughs> oh, what is that? What is that even? And, and, 136% of the Crimeans agree Ukraine is a failed state secession is answered. I made them up myself. Exactly, you can't just print things you make up. But why not? Because it is not true. Why let the facts get in the way of a good story? Ah, oh, that is uh, something that's very true and strings very true of current um, journalism on the internet in general. Especially gaming journalism. So full of shit. Da, I must agree with small the Russian tank. Paper is called Pravda. This means truth. Whatever we print is officially sanctioned party line. Sacre bleu, you are all insufferable. Ahem, um, they all turn to look at you. Um, I don't mean to barge in, but I was wondering if you needed help with the, uh, paper. Please help? Soviet motherland need no help from American capital, uh... Comrade, we sold three copies last month. I believe we can use all the help we can get. Ah, nobody's listening. We are not going to sell a single paper if your Russian tanks keep making up whatever suits you. I have to agree with the French on something, but she's right. You can't just make things up and call it fact. Yet. It's not making things up, it is only reinterpreting the truth. Either way, maybe try doing something besides historical pieces for this issue. But what else is there to write about except the good days? Uh, doing an interview, an op-ed, anything besides history? Hmm, da, I like. T-34, key team camera and a party member card. Uh, I'll just go with the camera for now. Just follow me, Owen. I'll do writing, you take the pictures. Sure, right. Well, we get to go on a date with a French girl. Woohoo! French tank, I mean. Mm. You and Sharpie want to leave the newspaper room, club room, and head into the hallway. They're just, uh, just impossible, you know, she pouts. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, there's certainly a handful. I'm glad you understand. Anyway, I don't think I've fully introduced myself yet. And I haven't... Uh, I'm Charles de Betelé 1 from Boulogne, uh, Bologne, France. I am totally mispronouncing all these words and I'm killing your language. Very sorry, France. I'm very sorry. Forgive me. Che de Betelé Bologne? <laughs> Ah, you Americans butcher our beautiful language with your English tongues. And I didn't know my South African tongue. Which is still cute. Hey, at least we pronounce the letters we put in our words. Sacre bleu! i let that one go for now. Let's get this assignment done first. And then we can discuss your uncivilized language further. It's a date, you wink. I shall hold you to it, American. She smiles back. Anyway, we should probably find someone to do a story on. Do you have any ideas? Ah, oh, damn, I'm not sure. How about Gani? How oh, that's it? What? I shall interview the Marachal des Lochis chef. Uh, the Gani? Please don't say you mean the Gani. But of course we shall interview him today. Let's go. Man, I'm so good at guessing these things. God, no. Ugh. Fine. Let's get over with. Let's get it over with. Let's get it on. Do, 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 do. You and Sharby want to hit stroll down the whole way towards the classroom. It's kind of weird that there's no music playing constantly in this game. But on the other hand, this does make me happy because that means there's less chances of me actually getting hit by a content ID matches for no fucking reason. And God, I hate those things. You knock on the door lightly and step inside. 
Oh, this looks like a friendly enough room. Uh, sir, I was wondering if I could... God damn it, recruit owl. Mon Sergeant. Oh, Mon Charby. Come and others with order the... Lesla. Lesla. Oh, God, I need another sip of beer. And for what I'm about to do, I um, humbly ask my for your forgiveness if you are from France or can speak French. Forgive me, my dear friends. Comment, allez-vous, are you are you? Est the power de la merde vous donne de nous? I have no idea what I just said, and I probably just I just fucking I probably just swore at someone's mother or grandmother or father or something or. Said the cheese is not good. I don't know. I honestly don't know. And this is going to bother me. Wait. What the fuck? Recruit, do not swear in front of a lady. But, 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 why? How are you speaking French? For the love of recruit, do you not? Don't you know the first thing about romance? HRB begles to herself. No, 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 mon sergeant. We are, it's a guard. Can we just get the interview for the paper? You want to put me in the paper? Oh, oui. Well, I'll be damned. Hmm, darned. If you want my mug and the paper, well, why not? When is it going to print? Um, this week, I think. Well, I might just have to pick myself up a copy. One surgeon, could you please answer a few questions for me? Go ahead. All right, well, to start, could I get your full name rank? Gunnery Sergeant Major R. Lee Hartman. Also rank is Gunnery Sergeant Major. For the love of recruit, haven't you heard of a first name? What? What sort of a name is Major? Well, what was your job in the military before you became a drill sergeant? I was 6969 Space Shuttle Door Gunner. <laughs> I was a, six, a Space Shuttle Door Gunner. <laughs> well, that's what I'm talking about. You become a drill sergeant. Well, you see, recruit, for some reason, the amount of uh, force sodomy that the military does to use takes its toll in a different way. It's not retiring. The anger wells up inside you. To the point where we forget where we come from. We wish for nothing more than to spread this malice and hate to the next generation of boots. And so, a drill sergeant, a drill instructor is born. Uh, right, sergeant. And what's your biggest pet peeve? Well, boots put their goddamn darn hands in their damn pockets. Well, does it matter if your hands are in our pockets? Recruit, do you know why Hitler lost the war? Um, no, I don't. I did not read up about that. Because the Russians were able to outproduce a German industrial capacity? No, recruit. Because he let the SS put their hands in their pockets. Oh, that's, um, do you think we can just take your photo and get going? Click, goes the camera. All right, let's get going, Char. Ah, uh, au revoir, Sergeant. She leaves the room. You start to leave too. Recruit! Yes, Sergeant? If you ever want to get inside of a tank, I would behoove you to unfuck yourself. Uh, wanted to get that out for a while, Sergeant? Yes, Recruit. Yes, I did. What? What? I wonder, what, what I'm not fucking myself. This is, this is so weird. The rest of the day we could be goes by quickly and you drift fast asleep that night with the camera and the French tank or No, probably fucking alone. Like always. Forever alone.jpg. Sad face dot gif. Also, it's always gif, not jif. Fucking hell. Well, at least I don't have any clubs to deal with today. Heck, I could probably take the whole day off and nobody would even notice. Well, until the sergeant kicks in my door. Eh, <laughs> I guess I could survive a few hours of... Classes. Get out of bed and make your way to school. Hmm. Hello, Irwin, I need to ask you a favor. She looks friendly today. Oh, Vice President, yeah, sure. Well, it's about the Occult Studies Club, yeah. Uh, well, it's just, can you please make sure they're not doing something satanic? Uh, uh, satanic, you say? I don't want you to have any hold another weekend Saturday briefing if they summon the Elder Guards or something again. Uh, I, for one, uh, Look forward to our ancient um, when Cthulhu takes over. I think there's not much to worry about then. Oh, yeah, no problem. I'll go check on them. In on them. Sometimes my mouth completely fucks up. Thanks, Erwin. She smiles. Uh, she seems friendly. I kind of like that. I like friendly people. How about you? Do you like friendly people? I'm a friendly person. Does it mean you like me? Yes. Yes. No. Oh. 
You head across the school grounds to your cold, stylish club room. It's one of those old, unused slots from Dutchy Pro, so cold chill washes over you. Uh, hello? Is anybody in there? Come and see you, see you. We're going to this geld is. So we're going to see you. We're going to see you. We're going You knock on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Hello? Silence. All right, I'm coming on in. Wow, this is this is grim. Where's well, grim? Is this guy playing Dota too? Once you open the door, you can barely see more than a few feet in front of you, and smoke twirls through the air, throughout the air. And on the black wall, you can see a large pentagram hastily drawn on the backboard. What? The hell? As a smoke cloud, Panzer Four pops up in front of you. Erwin! Whoa, Panzer Four! What the hell is this? Oh, I'm so glad you're here. You made it just in time. Do I even want to know what for? The blood sacrifice, silly. <laughs> if you make an offering to the old ones, they will grant us the money to go on the strip. No, they fucking won't. And maybe the weapons to win the war? Well, they can be a fickle bunch. I remember when the vice president, <laughs> the vice president said, No spooky shit. No, she probably doesn't because he's such a dizzy airhead. But she's German. She's supposed to be all about efficiency and beer. Man, I could do her some more beer right now. This is exactly exact definition of spooky shit. Oh come on! When was a little blood magic hurt anyone? Desu. Why the hell do you even know about this stuff? Uh, just a little thing I picked up during the war. Oh shh! It's our time for the virgin sacrifice. Well, what? Virgin sacrifice? Uh, tell me more about this. It's just, it's gonna be blood. Not blood from a knife, though, but other type of. No, 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 don't, don't go on this fault train run. Reef, don't, don't do it, don't do it. Hmm, we have a tank here. Never easy or combat. This is going to be a good one. From another part of the room, mouse steps forward. Okay, oh, okay, hell no, I'm calling this thing off. But how do you expect us to get money? It's not like we're a bunch of j just made of money people. Heh <laughs> heh. Otherwise, the vice president just told me to come make sure you weren't up to well exactly what you're up to. Yeah, but no spooky shit. Hi, hi. She frowns. All right, good then. We can keep this little thing between you and me. But uh, well, what are we going to do to raise money then? She pouts. God, I don't know. Hold a bake sale or something. Both of their eyes are up in pans of grins. I think we can do that, ne? Wait. I'll see about borrowing some kitchen equipment. I don't like where this is going. Ah, I'll make sure not to burn them this site. Please. And I will... God, no. Well, I was going to say get the dough. No, 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 you weren't. Don't be a spell sport to Desu. God help me. Alright, look, how about you two come to the store with me and we get the dough together. Shopping? We would love shopping. Well, yeah, let's uh, let's go, you crazy bitches. Here, though. I think this is a good spot. Um, I'm going to end this episode here. Next one, we are going to be shopping with the two German tanks. And uh, it's probably going to go horribly for me. And great for you guys, because um, this is the kind of things you guys want to see. Anyway, I'll see you guys again next time. Goodbye.